All right, let's see how this works. Oh my God, this is amazing. And you're probably wondering, what was that? That's the latest technology in sewing. It's the Ditto Pattern Projector. And I've got one right here. I just set it up and today we are gonna use it. This is gonna be such a fun sewing adventure. So come on, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is pick out our pattern. And today I wanna create a spring dress. So let's take a look at all the dress patterns available in the Ditto My Pattern Library. And I didn't even mention it, but the dress I'm wearing today is a Ditto dress as well. So right now I'm at dittopatterns.com and we're gonna click on patterns and I'm going to go to the women's patterns and I wanna select the product type. So I'm gonna go ahead and select dresses and hit apply. And then you're gonna have so many dresses that pop up. So now we can take a look through all the dresses and you're gonna notice that some of them say customizable and that means you can choose your own sleeves and necklines and customize the style to your style. There are so many different fun silhouettes and styles on here. There's something for everyone. So I'm gonna scroll through the dresses until I find the perfect dress that I wanna create for spring. Let's take a look at this dress. Cute, cute. Not quite what I had in mind, so let's keep looking. 113 dresses to look at. So many dresses on here. This is so cool. And this dress library is just the beginning. They are constantly adding more styles to it. So just imagine all the different styles that are going to be on here. It's going to be endless especially since you can customize the styles as well by changing the necklines and the hems and the sleeves and things. This is just so cool. I'm gonna go with the Adina dress, I think. It says it's customizable, so let's take a look at it. I love this fun, flirty skirt. It's got beautiful princess lines on it. I think this will be great for a fun cotton spring dress. So let's click on our sides. Really cool, we get to take our measurements and add them to this, so that way this pattern is going to turn out perfectly our size. I am so psyched to try this out because this eliminates hours of pattern drafting. This is like the coolest feature ever. So let's keep customizing. I'm gonna do a micro mini, cause I'm a shorty, and we are going to keep the V-neck, and then for the sleeves, I think I'm gonna do three quarter sleeves, so nice little bracelet length. And then I'm going to name this design. Anastasia Spring Dress. We're gonna add it to our pattern library and now we get to take some measurements and project it to our cutting table. This part of the process right here is a game changer in the sewing industry with patterns because we are gonna take some measurements. We are gonna put them in our measurement profile and then it is gonna adjust the pattern to fit the body perfectly to your measurements. So I know you've bought a pattern before and you've brought it home and the chart on the back says to measure your bust, your waist, and your hips. And you do, and your measurements are all over the place. They're not perfectly in one size column. So it's really frustrating and hard to sew up the pattern, but you do and it probably doesn't fit great and you're so frustrated and it's so irritating because you really wanted to wear that dress because it was so cute on the picture but it didn't work out or fit. But with Ditto, we are going to take 17 different measurements. We are gonna put them in the system and it is going to adjust the pattern to fit you perfectly. And it's gonna save those measurements permanently in your size profile. And you can create multiple size profiles as well, but you only need to take your measurements once and then you can create so many things that are gonna fit you perfectly. What a time saver. You don't need to manually adjust a paper pattern. You don't need to know how to grade it or adjust it in between different sizes. This system is going to do it for you. What? So now we have to get to our measurement profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my account. And then over to the left, I'm gonna find a little tab that says measurement profiles. And now what I'm gonna do is hit create new profile. Um, you're gonna select your gender and your standard size, and then we're gonna hit customize measurements. And now you're gonna get a whole list of measurements that you need to put in. Another really cool feature is that if you don't know exactly how to measure the measurement they have listed, they have these great charts for each one. You just hit the question box, and then it shows you exactly what you need to measure, how you measure from what point to what point, so that way you can take really accurate measurements. 
So now I'm gonna take all of those measurements and put them into my profile. And that's gonna be so boring for you to watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now that we have all of our measurements complete and in our size profile chart, we just need to open up our app on our phone or your tablet. And that way we can send the design directly to the projector and start making this cute spring dress. But first we're gonna hit size customization. And then we need to select our measurement profile here. So spring Anastasia 23, and then make sure you hit save. And then it's going to apply that measurement profile to the dress. How easy is that? So easy, no pattern drafting required. This is like blowing my mind right now. So now that I have my app open, I'm going to go to my patterns. I'm going to select the dress that I would like to create today. And now we want to select the workspace. You're also gonna notice it's gonna tell you the yardage and the notions so that way you can buy the proper amount of everything. And there's also gonna be some sewing instructions as well. Now we're gonna hit workspace and it's preparing our workspace. And here is your workspace screen. So you're gonna notice the pattern pieces over to the right. And you're gonna notice that right here, it says connect and it's blinking at you. It basically wants you to touch it. So we're gonna touch it and hit connect and it's gonna connect to the projector. So now that we have the app connected to the projector, we need to select our pieces. And then once we select the pieces, we're going to hit send a projector. So the first pieces I'm going to cut out are going to be my bodice pieces. So let's go ahead and hold the bodice piece and we drag it over to the workspace. Now you can put more than one piece in here at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my facing piece in there. I'm going to put all the bodice pieces in there that I can fit. We're just gonna work our way down the list here. See if we can get the back in there. See if we can get the facing piece in there. Excellent. So now when we have them laid out in the fabric, you notice those two are overlapping. We can arrange these however we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and arrange these. Center fronts on fold. So I'm gonna place that one over here on the edge so I can place it on fold. The front facing is also on fold, so I'm gonna place that one down here. And now I'm going to arrange these out here. Okay, so now I've got my pieces laid out that I would like to cut out. And now what we're gonna do is hit send to projector and it's gonna show up on our mat. Oh my God, look at how cool this projected bodice looks. Of course we can't cut this out in the darkness, so let's turn the lights on a bit. So I have my fabric laid out on the mat and I've lined up my pieces that are center front unfold with the fold of my fabric. I've double checked my grain line so everything is laid out. Now let's say you projected it and you wanted to move a piece, you just move it on your screen and send it back over. So now this is it, this is all we need to do. We can just start cutting. So it comes with a rotary cutter. So you are just gonna now follow the projected lines and cut out the pieces. This is saving so much time so that way you don't have to pattern draft it. You don't have to cut out the paper and then the fabric. You can go ahead and just cut directly on the fabric. This is so cool. And just like that, we've got pieces. So you're just gonna work your way through all of your pieces. And right now we're doing the bodice. Voila, wasn't that fun? Now we have all of the bodice pieces cut out and now I'm gonna cut out the sleeve and the skirt. And then after that, we get to start sewing the dress together. We did it, we have all of the pieces cut out. So we have our skirt pieces cut out, we have our bodice pieces cut out and we've got our sleeves. Can we just take a minute to notice how fabulous this fabric is? I'm obsessed with it. Probably wondering where I got it. I got it from Joanne Fabrics. Can you believe it? It looks like a retro print, but it's new. I can feel this coming together quickly. So the first thing we need to do is finish all of our edges so they don't fray. I'm going to be serging all of my edges. Of course, you could zigzag or overcast yours. Let's serge it up. All done. I've serged all of the edges and they turned out beautifully. I love the contrasting pink stitching that I used as well. 
Now it's time to sew, sew, sew. And all of these garment patterns come with instructions so you can follow step by step on how to create the garment that you've just cut out. So first I'm going to sew together the side seams of the skirt and then we're gonna have a complete circle skirt ready to go for later for the bodice. We've got a skirt! So now we need to sew together the bodice. What we're gonna do is sew together the princess lines on the front and the back of the bodice. Next, we're gonna sew together the shoulders. This is really starting to come together. After that, we are going to set in the sleeve to the armhole. We've got sleeves! And then after we set in the sleeves to the armhole, we're gonna sew up the side seams and the underarm of the sleeve all at the same time. We've got a bodice. And then after we do that, we are gonna attach the bodice to the skirt. So close to finished. And then we're gonna attach our zipper to center back. Our invisible zipper is so invisible in this beautiful flower print. After we put in our zipper to center back, we're gonna attach the neck facing. And after the neck facing, we're gonna make sure that all of our edges are nice and hemmed. Now I'm going to hem the sleeves. All we have left is the hem of the dress. And this fabric is so fun that I've decided to add a five inch ruffle to the hem of it to make it extra fun. After all, this is a custom dress. Let's add that ruffle and see how it turned out. Oh my God, you guys, this is so cute. I cannot wait to wear it. Let's check out some of the dress details while it's on the dress form before I try it on. This turned out even better than I thought it would. We have a beautiful finished deep V neckline with our facing here. We have a great set in sleeve. It just sets in beautifully into the armhole. We did a bracelet length sleeve so that way we could show off our bracelets. And then we have this beautiful full circle skirt. So much volume in the bottom. I love all the volume, perfect for twirling. And then I added this gorgeous ruffle. I also chose to do a pink rolled hem at the top of the ruffle and then a neon green baby rolled hem at the bottom of it to just add a little extra detail to the ruffle. And it fits great too, because I put in all of those custom measurements in the beginning for the pattern. So I put in some numbers and now I have a custom dress that fits me perfectly. This dress is so cute. The possibilities are endless for creating dresses with Ditto. And I don't have a pattern that I have to pack up and store somewhere. It's just in the Ditto app, ready to go when I'm ready to sew. That also means I'm not wasting any paper, which is great for the environment. Ditto Patterns is an amazing technology that anyone can use in their home. You just set it up, choose a pattern, put in some measurements, project, and sew. So what do you guys think of Ditto? I would love to know, so leave it down below in the comments. Do you have a Ditto? Are you getting a Ditto? Do you think you wanna buy a Ditto? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching So Anastasia today. I hope you enjoyed learning all about the Ditto and creating a custom look within the Ditto pattern library with your custom measurements. Ah, I just can't get over this, you guys. It's just so cool. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video today, Give a thumbs up, leave some applause, and leave a comment down below because I would love to know what you thought. And don't forget to subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to add me on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter and TikTok and all the social media so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And make sure you tag me in your designs so that way I can share them with everyone else. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.